From the moment we wake up, we use and consume products that contain palm oil. The fact is, no other vegetable oil on the planet is used in such a vast array of goods. To put it into perspective, palm oil is found in half of all packaged items sold in supermarkets. Today, Malaysia is the world's second largest palm oil producer and this year marks 100 years since the first commercial cultivation. So when and where did it all start? Many widely accept that Malaysia's palm oil story started from the Tenemaram estate in Batang Berjuntai, Selangor. It was here in 1917 that Frenchman Henry Fauconier initiated the first commercial oil palm plantation. Fauconier was first fascinated by the look of the plant. After visiting a friend's oil palm plantation in Delhi, Sumatra, he then learned more of its uses and decided to get a few seedlings and plant the crop at Tinamaram. And the rest is history. As the years passed by, the crop grew to become Malaysia's leading agricultural export. With intense research and development, we came up with techniques to improve the quality and production. Research in the 1920s focused on palm breeding and then it expanded to genetics and crop physiology. Essentially, the palm trees were engineered to produce the best quality fruit, producing the optimum amount of oil. Trees were also made to grow shorter to make it easier to harvest the fruit. Other processes were mechanised to lower costs and technology was introduced as well. Following these advances, we now generate 29% of the global palm oil production and supply 37% of palm oil exports worldwide. 100 years and the crop is still on top. What gives it the edge as compared to other types of edible oils? For one, palm oil can withstand high heat making it ideal for deep frying and it's cholesterol free. It is also a rich source of vitamin E tocotrenols and tocopherols. Because of its multiple uses, millions of tons are traded to satisfy the world's demands. As a result, all palm plantations were expanded. However, concerns were raised on its sustainability and impact on the environment. Palm oil yield per hectare is 8 to 10 times higher than that of other major vegetable oil crop. Because the oil palm tree is such an efficient crop, palm oil has gained market share very rapidly and has now become the world's most consumed vegetable oil. While NGOs continue to lobby against the usage of unsustainable palm oil, countries like Malaysia are going out of the way to bring the industry to a higher level of sustainability and transparency. We are totally committed to sustainability in Malaysia for our oil palm industry. That is why we are implementing the MSPO certificate. We're going to make it compulsory for everyone in the industry, including the 650,000 smallholders, to show our commitment to preserving the environment in Malaysia. Now we are focused on increasing productivity and not increasing acreage. So Malaysia is totally committed to the sustainability agenda and there is no deforestation in Malaysia. From developing the crop to growing to be one of the biggest palm oil suppliers and even overcoming obstacles related to the industry, what does the future hold for Malaysian palm oil? The targets are simple. The increased usage of automation and innovation to reduce costs and raise yield genome research for better oil palm strains, biomass as a sustainable energy source, and the expansion in nutraceuticals and oleochemicals. Today, palm oil sustains more than 3 billion people in over 150 countries. Global consumption has risen from 14.6 million tons in 1995 to 62.5 million tonnes in 2016, making it the most consumed vegetable oil in the world. 
and at the rate things are going, palm oil will continue to feed the world.